Somewhere in America. What's that? Craft on Tap Show is back with the Beer Peer Review. Hello, everybody. It's Nick A. Myers, and I'm here on behalf of me and Boulder Rogue Digital bringing you this fine programming. Craft on Tap Show, Beer Peer Review, hashtag C-O-T-B-P-R. What up, y'all? So, this is the part two of the variety pack from New Belgium Brewery. Uh, they're out of uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. Big Ups, Colorado. You guys are my favorite. Other than Mexico. Um, so, we're excited. The last couple beers we tried were IPAs, uh, variants of styles. Today we have two very different kinds of beers. So we're going to start off today by this very simple Belgian white. Now I don't have my slice of, say, orange. Now that's a new trend, the orange. Most, usually most Belgian whites, or sort of heavens, are going to come with, say, a lemon. But you know, the world's a different place these days. All right. I can already smell how beautiful this is. Belgian white is one of my favorites. And look at that, it is as true to its name. Very, 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 just a slight amount of a pale sort of yellow hue. I like this ring around the top. It just has a little bit going on, but you can see a lot of action moving to the top. So you know there's a lot of oxygen being released and things happening that are gonna just make this even better. Whoa, beautiful, floral. I mean, I just like mango. I get, I get a real, of course I've got wheat in there. You're gonna get a lot of wheat smell, but this is a fantastically floral scented beer. Pretty light on the nose. Let's give it a let's give it a sniff, shall we? Oh, now let's give it a sip, shall we? Dang, Gina, that's good. You know, it's how do I say this? It it's real smooth, uh, and it just kind of coats your mouth, and it it's really nice, and you know, it's crisp, and it's definitely another one of those beers that I say is a great summertime beer. It's getting hot. I don't know what kind of temperatures you're dealing with, but out here in Burque, Nuevo Mexico, we're looking at about 90-ish degrees. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. Have a Belgian white. Um, also, yeah, this is a, just a tad bit of sweetness, but more crispy, more finishing on the crisp end than on the sweet end. I, um, I really like this a lot. There is a slight amount of bitterness in there, but it doesn't linger for too long. And I'll tell you what, this guy could just drink one after another after another. But let's be realistic. If you're gonna drink a lot of beers, you should drink them responsibly. You should make sure you always have a plan. And please, we do this for fun and we like to review beers, but we always take what we do very seriously. So we'd like you to do the same. All right, well, this is great. And there's part two, or two of two of this variety pack review. That is a good beer for sure. While I'm cleansing my palate, have you shared our show with your friends, family? Have you let them know how to find us? Have you? bought out ad space on the internet? Have you hired a pilot to fly across the sky and skywrite craft on tap? Well, I'm guessing no. So I'm just a little disappointed because I know you love the show. Just do us a favor, like our stuff, share our stuff, communicate, com uh, comment, get in the conversation. Thank you, we appreciate all the help and support we get. Big up Bismarck, North Dakota, man. Thanks for that comment, by the way. You're, you're a man, for real. All right, I'm cleansing the palate. I'm washing away the old, bringing in the new. And by the way, I'm sniffing on New Mexico's very own Pinon brand coffee, founded right here in Albuquerque. So the last beer we have on the docket for this sampler from New Belgium is gonna be a throwback beer. It's the Shift, and it's gonna be a pale lager. So I'm starting to catch a theme here. Wait a minute, this is all bike related. Is that new? Was, I didn't know was that before. Anyway. All right, so, you know, obviously we like a lager, pale lagers, we've tried them on the show before, so they're usually just gonna be a little lighter, of course. Uh, but hey, when you ask what a lager smells like, make sure you spell it right. All right, here we go. Beautiful, look at that. Ooh, it's nice and golden, a little orange color, but really beautiful, I can see right through it. It's almost like 3D, 4K magnification, baby. Um, beautiful, not haze at all, nothing really floating. Nice, it's very, it's kind of a bubbly, soapy head though. It isn't really frothy, but the, the head retention is sticking there. So I like it, looks great. I'm sure it'll taste great, but try it. Smelling it first. Wow, this one's a little, that's good. I mean, of course I'm getting a lot of weed in there. I've got some honey, I don't know, there's something, a little like honeysuckle in there, something a little sweeter. But overall, I mean, it's just got a nice, a lot of wheat smell, a lot of like dough, like brewery, but uh, 
I mean, I'm sure anyone can smell this and get 25 different things from it, but this is one of those kind of a uncomplicated, complicated bouquet. To try our last beer, and if I can get a drum roll, please. Drum. Whatever, I'll just hear by myself. All right, so here we go. Mm. Ooh, wow, that mouth feels it, it's big. It keeps building, building, building. It's still building. I can feel like building as it's going down. That's very tasty. A lot of a lot of carbonation. Like it's almost like it's almost like champagne. -y. It's almost like a dry, you know, like a dry kind of a sparkly. Um, but it isn't super sweet. It's actually it's got a little bit of I believe maybe it's a malt in there, or some something that's giving it a little bit of that flavor and color. So, gosh darn it, New Belgium, you've done it again. You just done it again. I can't tell you how grateful we are to you, to you as well as to all of the people that watch our show. My name is Nick A. Myers, and you can catch us at craft.tapshow.com. You can get online. You can see us on Instagram. You can go to our YouTube channel. Um, and we're starting a movement, Craft on Tap Beer Peer Review. So we want you to hashtag C O T V P R. Do it for now, Nick. Yo, see you next time. Stay groovy, movies.